Senate Minority Leader Martin Nesbitt is Josh Stein's colleague in the Senate. He says on this show, you're cutting into the bone at this point with some of this uh, spending cut proposals. What do you think? I think we're dismantling the state of North Carolina. Uh, that's really what's happening. The Republican uh, way of doing business is to cut the money off and, and let it implode. And we're starting with the public schools and working our way on down. I, I, I've spent all day learning, uh, and it, it just keeps coming. Uh, in mental health, we've spent 10 years rebuilding that to, to a level that the people were a little bit comfortable with, and they're going in and taking all the credit balances and putting these people to a zero or down to where they can't even make it. Uh, so it's, it's bad. It's really bad, and I think the people of this state will respond to it. The Republican leaders, uh, Senator Phil Berger in this case, say this reflects a philosophy and that their philosophy can work for the state of North Carolina with reduced funding. It's more efficient. It's well, their philosophy is they don't like government. I mean, they're anti-government folks is what they are. Uh, some of them don't like public schools. You've seen that. They've, they've made statements to that effect. They want vouchers and private schools for all the children. And, you know, when you, when you come in and make the choices they're making when they are not necessary, I think that's the thing that people need to understand. It's not necessary to fire all the teachers' aides in grades one, two, and three. But they say, they're, they say they're hiring 1,100 new school teachers, not assistance to lower classroom sizes, and that will work better. Well, they, had, they didn't bring a teacher to tell us that, and the teacher that we talk to will tell you in a heartbeat that they need those teachers' aides in the class. The lady we had up here a week ago had a kindergarten with 22 students in it, supposed to have 18, had 22. Four have English as a second language. Two are ADD. Ten have personal learning plans because they have a disability of some sort on learning. They're divided into four learning groups because of their diversity. And we're going to put one teacher in front of that class and say, now you take care of them all? And she made it very clear that having those aids to be able to give these children individual instruction is the only way you're going to educate all the children. Looking at the budget, it includes some income tax reduction, sunsets of temporary taxes. Um, Fletcher Hartz will call it a shot in the arm for the economy, this proposal. What do you call it? Well, they're fixing to fire twenty to 30,000 people. I mean, that's the number of positions that will be lost out there which are good jobs located in every community. Uh, they're going to turn around and try to stimulate the economy with tax cuts for small business, which will stimulate the economy where there's business. But you get out into some of these areas of the state and there is no business, there are no jobs. We've got uh, over 40,000 uh, unemployed people that have been out there for over a year and a half most of them from small towns in eastern North Carolina and western North Carolina where there are no jobs. And given a tax break out there is not going to, is not going to do the deal. We'd be much better off to keep the teachers and the school personnel employed, educate the next generation, and let them build out of it because those people will be putting money into the economy that small businesses can survive on. Do you look at this Senate budget and see areas where you could work, areas you could support, or do you throw your hands up at this one and say, let's hope for something later in negotiations? When you see the dismantling of these different facilities that we have out here, it, it's, it's kind of stunning. Senator, we have a few more steps in the negotiation process. Hope you'll be back on to share your insight as the bill gets tweaked and twisted and Negotiated. Well, thank you. I'll be glad to come back.